Now here's a really, really underappreciated car. Let me tell you, a 68 Delta 88 Holiday Custom, man. With fastback styling, big block V8 for sure. It's funny that they didn't put the word Holiday on there. You got your power antenna there. I'm wondering what the power in this car is though, I have to ask the owner. Check this out, you got your uh, new for 68 on every car was the the side marker lights for safety. So you see this one's shaped in the rocket crest and there's parked in a similar color to 68 Chrysler 300, also has the, uh, the uh, side marker lights. What an outstanding automobile. Outstanding automobile, man. And I love a white interior. I just love it. It melts my butter. It's so symbolic of those times, you know? I don't know about the motor in this. It could be a 350, it could be a 425. I'm gonna find out. What a beautiful bohemian, man. Awesome color. And I know this Chrysler 300 well too, man. I've done a video on that with a startup of the 440. You know? Your old Mustang LX here. And also an 80s uh, Lincoln, what is it, the Lincoln Mark VI? Do you know how hard it is, probably just to find these hubcaps today? Oh my god, these cars were not preserved, let me tell you. Not at all. Not at all. I hope my friend Silva, who's restoring one of these, sees this video. I hope he subscribed to me, uh, you know, when I told him about my website. So. Hey, it even has a tissue dispenser. Ah! How cool is that? Very nice. Lovely old boat. C'est quoi le moteur là-dedans? It's a 455. Tu as très faire une petite vidéo de votre voiture. Je n'étais pas sûr c'était un 350, 425. Je me dis 455. Je n'étais pas sûr si c'était sorti en 68 ou 69. C'est quoi le millage? 26,000 000. Hein? 26,000 uh, miles, uh, kilometers. Non, mais c'est un, euh, une char américaine ou canadienne? C'est un char américain. Dans le Canada. Okay, so it's in miles. 26,000 miles. Never restored, eh? Jamais vraiment restauré, ça. Fantastic. Amazing. Mais c'est vrai que ça se monte par l'intérieur, hein? Les sièges, tout le... le, le, le comment qu'on dit? Le upholstery. La seule affaire qui a été changée, c'est les valve covers. Elle est vraiment incroyable. J'espère que mon ami, euh, qui me disait qu'il resterait ça, parce que lui, il a un Impala 67 qui est aussi mint, là, tu sais. Puis j'espère qu'il va... Il, il s'est abonné à ma chaîne. Il est comme un Impala. Il est comme un... OK, vas-y, mon ami. Fire it up. 455. Ah, oh, there's nothing like a... a deep-throated 455 sound, eh? Je vais juste aller en arrière, puis euh, je vais te donner le Q, euh, le, le Q, le Q quand tu peux euh, l'éteindre, OK? Ah, oh, the 455, man, what a sound. Don't slow and coupe the rev. Bone stock, man, 26,000 kilometers on it. 26,000 kilometers. Amazing. Unrestored. The gentleman, tu peux l'éteindre mon ami. The gentleman has had this car 10 years. 10 years and he got it at a deal. And one of the reasons why he got it, tu comprends tu en anglais? Non. Pas beaucoup. One of the reasons why he got this car in a deal is because 10 years ago, these cars were not, were never really appreciated enough. Qu'est-ce que je disais, c'est que tu sais, ils ont eu un bon prix parce qu'il y a 10 ans, ces chars-là n'étaient pas vraiment du tout appréciés. Non. 
Là, ça commence, mais même à ça, c'est des chats qui sont moins chers qu'un Impala, par exemple. Oui. You know. Euh, fait que, tu sais, c'est... Hey, JP, je te remercie beaucoup. T'es bien, bien gentil.